How can 0.3 turn into 30 and nearly kill you? In 2015, two sports science students in the UK took part in a caffeine test. The dose was meant to be 0.3 grams. A decimal slipped and what got mixed was closer to 30 grams, which is about 300 cups of coffee. Both ended up in intensive care and the university was later fined 400,000 pounds. Multiplying by 0.3 should make a number smaller. 0.3 grams equals 300 milligrams, which is realistic. 30 grams equals 30,000 milligrams, which is absurd. Rule, if your factor is less than one, the result should shrink. This video is about that habit, estimation. Estimation is not guesswork. It's a quick sense check that catches errors before they snowball. It builds the number sense students need from primary through secondary. Everyone makes avoidable errors. High attainers are actually more tricked up by complexity, which leads them to forget common sense and the basics. So what is estimation? Estimation is a fast way to decide if an answer is sensible. We're just gonna start with five quick questions that will help you in your estimating journey. Should the result be bigger or smaller? About how big should it be? Nearest one, 10, 100? Do the units make sense? Milligrams versus grams. Milliliters versus liters. Minutes versus hours. Can I check to see I'm in the right ballpark and does it fit the real world? Note that this isn't always available. Some exam questions are abstracts, but a lot of GCSE and A-level questions usually try to be realistic enough for a sense check. So why does number sense matter? Number sense is an internal feel for size, built over time. Students with a strong number sense know that times in by 0.3 shrinks and times in by 1.2 makes something bigger. They use benchmarks such as a half, one, 10 and 100, and they catch nonsense. For instance, 4.5 times 1.2 can't be 54. This makes fractions, percentages, algebra, and avoiding calculator traps easier.